After seeing signs warning park goers, a viewer called in over the weekend asking if there are alligators in Central City Park. Ashlyn Webb set out to verify if there are gators in the park. Her sources are nuisance wildlife trapper Bill McLean and Armand Burnett, assistant director of Macon Bibb County Parks and Recreation. Yeah, Bonnie Butler says she was here at Central City Park this weekend enjoying a barbecue with family when she noticed this, a sign reading beware of alligator in pond. I kept my eye on that pond because I didn't ever know. You know, we got chicken and stuff and, they, and alligator love chicken. They say raw chicken. And I was thinking, you know, he might come out any time. And the pond was just a distance away from the playground and picnic tables where they were. We know the park is home to plenty of critters like turtles and squirrels, but what about alligators? We set out to verify. Usually they they get no further than the levee behind us. Um, usually we would catch maybe one or two that's on the levee, knowing that they do uh, breed and live over at the Okmulgee River. But recently a four foot gator decided to make a pond in the park his home for a couple weeks. Bibb County Animal Enforcement attempted to catch the gator, but had no luck. So the county brought in a nuisance wildlife trapper who specializes in catching gators. Not a whole lot of guys in the business wrangle alligators, so uh, I ended up getting a call. And I come down there that very day. Uh, took about four times down here because the gator was very spooky. According to Department of Natural Resources rules, you can't set traps. So instead, Bill McLean had to get in the water to catch him. Uh, it's, it's an adrenaline rush, no doubt. On the fourth attempt, he would go into hiding. He was a better hider than I am seeker. McLean was able to finally catch the gator and safely transport it to a nearby swamp. So we verified, yes, a gator was in the park. And it's actually not the first time a gator has wound up there. I see you looking at me. This is body cam video from 2017 when Bibb County Sergeant Clay Williams and Officer Bruce Rozier wrangled a four-foot gator. I got behind the alligator while Officer Rozier was keeping his attention with what you call a catch pole. Um, he kept tapping him to keep him looking at him so I could get up behind him and basically sit on him and hold his mouth shut. But how often do gators end up in the park? Williams and Rogers say typically they don't make it to the park except in these two known cases. And Bibb County Sheriff's Office says if you see a gator, you can call them or animal enforcement who can work to relocate the gator to a safe area. In Megan, Ashland Webb, 32 WMAZ News. You can bet I won't be going into the water to catch it. Bill McLean says now is the time where you'll probably see more gators, particularly males, because the breeding season is between April and June.